Okay, so Slow Food, uh, we're an international organization that supro- supports good, clean, fair food for all. And what we mean by that is uh, food, good food is food that is nutritionally dense and tastes good. Uh, clean food is food that is not heavily processed, like commercially um, industrial food type of um, production, uh, no genetic modifications. And fair is um, anything and everything that is in the process is treated with respect and um, equity and uh, there's no exploitation of nature or of uh, people who are working in the system. Uh, The Arc of Taste is a catalog of of, um, food biodiversity that's threatened, endangered, or at risk of extinction. So what we do is we work with local communities to identify uh, local foods that are threatened, we document them, and we put them onto the catalog, and then we use the catalog to connect farmers and chefs and to educate the public to raise awareness about food being um, uh, you know, endangered or threatened. And then also uh, the goal is to create project uh, products with this so that um, people will buy it to eat it, to save it basically. Here, okay, here's a local thing for you. Um, we have a melon that was, that has been grown in South Jersey since um, late 18, not late 1800s, around 1850s, 1860s. And it's called the Jenny Lynn melon. And it's named after, this is the funniest story, it's named after a Swedish opera singer, Jenny Lynn, who P.T. Barnum brought over to the United States to promote. So, you know, you have P.T. Barnum, a Swedish opera singer, (laughs) and you have a melon that's named after her, you know? And it's a really neat melon. It's a small little musk melon, um, compact plants, and, it was a very popular melon up until probably late 60s, early 70s. And I remember, you know, Jenny Lynn's being everywhere and they disappeared. Like that's just what happened. So they're not, you don't really find them in South Jersey anymore, but um, seed savers outside of Jersey have discovered this melon and they're the ones who save the seeds to preserve it. So there were people in Oregon and in the Hudson Valley who are seed savers who found this melon and realized that it was um, rare and um, they've saved the seeds and it's been stabilized since, so it's not going anywhere.